Hi, I'm Kevin Stoda, and I welcome to uh, Myths and Lies About Single Pair. I got this from um, uh, Public Citizen, Public Citizen, and Public Citizen has taken time to create this Myths and Lies About Single Pair. I'm going to tell you what you're wrong about and right about. Okay, uh, number one, people claim that Single Pair is a government-run health care. Nope wrong that would be the veterans administration or the british health care system where the government pays for the doctors and the hospitals under single payer you get a health care card and you can go to any doctor or hospital in the united states doctors are not employees of the government in under single payer hospitals remain generally in private hands and you get free choice of doctor and hospital okay let's see next Single payer will lead to rationing of medicine, etc., like in Canada. Right now in the United States, the private health care insurance companies ration care. For example, if you don't have health insurance at all, you don't get health care. More than 40 million Americans currently lack health insurance. That's why 100 Americans die every day from lack of health care. 100 Americans every day. Mm. Let's see, let's do our numbers. That would be like 36,500 people a year due to the lack of health care, at least. Um, there are some problems with the Canadian system, but most of what you hear about long lines in its health insurance industry are propaganda. Zero people die every day in Canada due to lack of health insurance. I doubt that that's correct. Surely somebody dies. But it's not lack of health insurance, right? Okay. Next one, next myth and lie. Cost will skyrocket under single payer. Wrong. Single payer is the only health care reform that will save enough money to insure everybody. By eliminating the health insurance industry, we save 500 billion a year or more in administrative costs and profits. We can do that. 500 billion a year, man. We then use that money to insure those who lack insurance and fully cover those who are underinsured, like many of you. Yes, more people will be seeking health care because they will now have insurance. They won't wait till they're dying or really ill before they go to the hospital or doctor. But they will be taking care of medical problems early, thus preventing more costly treatment later. Next myth or lie about single pair. Drugs will be more difficult to get under single pair. Wrong. The drug industry would have you believe that there will be less research and development under a single payer system. Yeah, I don't know where they came up with that idea. In fact, much medical research is currently funded by the National Institutes of Health around the world, including the United States. Under single payer, this would grow. Also, drugs would be cheaper under single payer when all patients under one system the payer wields a lot of clout. We can keep the price down. For example, the Veterans Administration currently gets a 40% discount on drugs because of its buying power. Don't you want to have uh, your insurance have 40% discount on drugs? Um, the single payer buying power is the main reason why other countries' drug prices are a lot lower than ours. It's not the only reason, but it's the you think about 40 percent of the reason now you know why the drug industry is so opposed to single payer uh yeah they don't want to give up on 40 percent of their uh, usual earnings do they uh, myth or lie single payer will cover less than the insurance i have now for the majority of americans single payer would be a vast improvement all medically necessary care would be funded through the single payer including doctor visits, hospital care, prescriptions, mental health services, nursing home care, rehab, home care, eye care, and dental care. Man, many of us don't have dental care and eye care and home care on our insurance currently, huh? And an enlightened single payer will also result in sharp increases in public health funding to prevent diseases. Uh, no more bills, no more deductibles, no more copays. Single payer will cost me more than I'm paying now for private health insurance. Wrong. The vast majority of Americans will pay about the same or less than they are paying now. 
Instead of paying premiums to a private health insurance company, most of us will pay a similar or smaller amount in taxes to make up for it. So right now, if you are paying $8,000 in premiums for a family of four with a $4,000 deductible, your yearly liability is $12,000. You will probably pay less than that in taxes to fund a universal single payer system. There will be no deductible no deductibles and you can go to see any doctor or check into any hospital in the united states i say um sometimes simplifying makes things easier and uh, single payer sounds like a winner to me if you want to go ahead and have other insurance you can buy that there's no one going to stop you but i uh, i believe strongly that uh americans have needed this for years i myself went through many um issues with insurance i recall that um fresh out of high school i was in college at the end of my first year i uh, damaged my right ankle very badly i'd had some damage during football in high school and uh but at this point i was told by the doctor it was 1981 he said well i don't really unless you're going to play basketball regularly the rest of your life or, or tennis every week I, I don't suggest you get surgery on your ankle at this time because there's only about an 85 percent chance that it will work out and um, besides I didn't have the money uh, we only had very poor insurance at the um, private college I was going to at the time I'm sure things are much better now um, in the end though um, Without good insurance, I didn't get my ankles taken care of, and um, I have had since then other uh, chronic ailments, and uh, sometimes I've had to work in the United States without proper insurance um, in several years. That's why I went abroad uh, most of my adult life to teach, because uh, the insurance in the United States just wasn't there uh, for me, and because uh, of what I really enjoyed teaching at that time was uh, teaching university students English, uh, foreign students who came to the United States English. I taught Air Force pilots from Italy. I taught uh, Korean soldiers. I taught others, but I w they were always on these short-term contracts, or almost always. Um, and uh, they didn't include insurance. You'd have to buy it yourself, and that was the 90s. And by the time 2010 arrived, and uh, we finally got some health care uh, for people who are uh, without uh, health care through their jobs in the last 10 years. I, I was out of the country until 2017. So in, in other words, I would be surprised if I wasn't the only one who had to go work in another country to feel covered and have security uh, in the job that they liked. Um, I did meet a lot of uh, people from the United States and Peace Bond in Germany, for example, or in uh, Kuwait or Oman, who were working because uh, healthcare and other conditions in the United States uh, were not good. Um, we d couldn't have the insurance, we couldn't save the money, and that's the big reason why uh, healthcare bills are killing a lot of Americans, or fear of them are killing them. Bankruptcy are, are hurting Americans, and I'm, I want this to end and have us have a jubilee and rebuild our country in the way it should be um, if you have any comments about what I've read uh, here from the public citizen I'll show you again public citizens label. and so notice they're not particularly for one part or the other but it's uh, been evaluated uh, not just by them but by um, the Lancet and other um, journals of medicine that the uh, providing a single payer would save within 10 years a lot of money uh, that Americans are now uh, wasting on insurance that's not even up to par, not covering uh, a minimum number of things that in other countries is uh, quite expected. Um, I pray that uh, things change and I think Americans have had enough. Uh, we're in the middle of a pandemic and uh, only right now people with 
with uh, COVID-19 might be able to get some government funding. Otherwise, if you're out uh, with another ailment uh, during this pandemic and you're unemployed or underinsured or not insured at all, COBRA was too expensive, you name it, uh, you're really hurting. And there's 40 million people unemployed right now. God, uh, help America to see the light and get um, us some single payer health care system that would cover us all and don't have us addicted to the system that we've uh, stumbled into the last 100 years. Thank you very much for listening. And uh, again, any comments, this is the Kevin Stoda channel. Be sure to uh, share my channel with others. I appreciate you listening on the porch with Kevin Stoda.